My future is bright. Oh, I want to hear you confessing it. My destiny is bright. Oh, I must get there. Beautiful, very bright. I must get there. Oh, beautiful, very bright. I must get there. Many people today who build a good house. They discipline themselves, deny themselves some pleasure, and they were able to get it. And at that when you see, you just believe that they just have the heap of money. It's a lie. It's sacrifice. You who you say you want to build a house, you say you want to, there is something you want to achieve, but you don't know how to save. I tell you, head nowhere. Talk to me now. Because whatever you want to achieve, you must be ready to pay this price. Some of our parents, they had to deny themselves food to feed the children. Some of our parents, they deny themselves pleasure to train children to university. Does it happen? Even when your mates are buying the different apartment, but yet, you, you, in fact, even we are like buying second-handed repartee time. And those who are wearing good clothes, it's not that they are making money more than you, but there is something you are looking on. It's not about today. It's about tomorrow. Am I talking to somebody? Deny yourself the pleasure for today to work out your destiny, which is an assignment. Young girl, you want to make it in school? You go to school, you see some people who are spending money, running bad around the campus, and they are living anyhow. You are coming to demand money from your poor parents. You don't have tomorrow. And you are lying even to get money. Do you know some students you have to lie? Because your mama was you haven't, you haven't gone to school before. So whatever you say is correct. They are, hear me. They will give you that money, but God will, will look at you that you have no direction. And that alone can amount to failure. Your boy here, you need to sacrifice. At times it could be serving people against your wish. Bend down. You can't serve them forever. Every labor have duration. Are you hear what I'm saying? You are serving as a house guy. You are serving as a, as a servant. You are serving even doing a petition when you have big certificate. Start somewhere. You are permitted to start small, but you can't end small. Because my Bible says, though your beginning may be small, but you say your later end shall be better. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Some young girl are looking for a job that will pay them 100000 from for a start. And they give you 20000 and say, no, hear me. 20000 may not be enough, but you may gather wisdom that will take you where they will pay you $1 million. Hear me, it's not about what you read, it's about what you practice. Because anything you read that you cannot practice is useless. You didn't hear what I said. You call yourself lawyer. Have you defended anybody before? Until you defend, now we know. <laughs> you call yourself doctor. You have never treated one person. You are carrying fire looking for a job. Have, but you didn't have discovered one thing. Most big institutions, they will tell you with three years' experience. So you may get the experience there without getting salary. You didn't hear what I said. There are places you may not get good salary, but you are getting experience that will shoot you for the future. Because even those places where they say, with five years experience, they will not ask you how much you earn. They want to know whether you have done this work before. Say, hold me with, with social certificate. Start somewhere. And at times, you know, man, I discover another thing. Hear this. Most times, Big institutions are looking for workers, not idle men. I forgive you. You won't understand. Watch. Have you not heard? I've seen it many times. Where you see a man working, another company is demanding from the same man who is working somewhere. Because they know that they are sure if you can work there and get to that position, you can offer what you are looking for. And meanwhile, there are people who have bigger certificates that are idle to us. So what am I trying to say to you? Start doing something, even if it's small. Don't complain. Even if you are doing business, it's small. Don't start with something. Some women who start, started with hawking something, and today they have shop. Some say, "Homie, oh, hawk." You don't have direction. If God say you hawk first, you must hawk. Hear me. I am talking to people that have dreamed this morning. When you get to the place of your blessing, you may have challenge. Don't easily quit. Before you leave, hear from God.
Because if you quit because you are offended, you may quit and regret. Coming back becomes difficult. I forgive you. And I've seen it in life. People will tell you, I resign. But after resigning, they see that life will have not turned from fire to fire. You are not a failure because you failed. You are only a failure because you failed and refused to continue. There are people who God has positioned to bless you. Hear this from me. They owe you no apology. Every young goat that wants to feed from the mother's breast must be ready to kneel. If you say you will not kneel and you are hungry, that baby goat will die of starvation. So every baby goat who wants to feed from the mother, you must be ready to go under and bend down. Even though it's not convenient. But that's a part of your sacrifice to get what you are looking for. And I know I'm talking to somebody you may be complaining and say, God, why me? God send me this money to tell you. You, you are gathering your story for tomorrow. Because somebody needs to hear what you went through. If you are a great man, hear me. I'm not talking to everybody here now. I'm talking to a few persons who understand what I'm saying. If you are a woman of destiny, you must have patience. Stretch your hand. I'm talking to somebody somewhere. And I know that strength is coming back to somebody. Receive grace to complete your vision. That's your direction you will get there. The challenge and the stop will not stop you. Rise up. Let your amen be the loudest.